Let's explore how you can create a multifamily residential concept design starting with just a program brief using Snaptrude's program mode. We'll start with our site area and apply the given FAR to get our total built up area. Now, we have our given unit mix, which we can apply to get our spaces. We have townhomes of 1,200 square feet, which form 9% of the project. Then we have two bedroom apartments of 960 square feet, which form 24% of the project. Next, we have one bedroom apartments of 600 square feet, which form 37% of the project. We have studio apartments of 400 square feet that form 14.5% of the project. We'll also input our amenity space, forming 7.5% here, and let's assume our circulation to be 8% of the project to start. We'll apply these percentages to get our total unit areas for each. Next, we'll get the quantities of each unit by applying our total unit built up area divided by the individual unit area here. So now we have our unit sizes, their respective areas, and quantities based on the given brief. Let's sort these into departments for each, and let's also apply a color palette to our project. Now, let's plan the distribution of our units across our floors. All six of our townhomes will be on the ground floor. The rest of our units will be distributed across floors two through six. So let's divide our total quantities by the number of floors. We have four two-bedroom apartments on each floor, 10 one-bedroom apartments, and six studio apartments on each floor. Let's open the expanded table and start applying more detail to our project. We'll start by filling in the stories and the widths of each of the spaces. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in here. When I update the widths of the spaces, the lengths automatically adjust to fit the target areas. Now that I have all my units placed by story and adjusted by size, I can go into my massing here. I'll draw out my site and setbacks and start placing my spaces. I want the amenities to be at the front and the townhomes at the back. I'll temporarily place my lift lobbies here as well. Going to the typical floor, I want my two bedroom units to be in the four corners of the building and then start filling in my one bedroom and studio apartments in between. I'll place my corridor and also make adjustments for the lift lobbies now. I'll do this for all the floors. Now I have my completed massing for my project. I can go and check how my areas have performed. In the areas tab, I can see my unit mix and what spaces have exceeded their target. To get more information on this, I can check in the program mode to see which blocks have exceeded and by how much. I can see the amenities are more than planned, so I'll make some adjustments in the design. Now I can check again how this has affected my areas. The last thing I might wanna check is my corridor efficiency. I'll apply my corridor areas divided by the total built up area and check the percentage. I can see it is now 8.2% compared to the 8% originally planned. Designing housing is an iterative process that has always contained a lot of numbers. Using the program mode means that you can manage the areas and the design in one space without any back and forth between software. It also avoids any mistakes because the tables update automatically as you design. Snaptrude has opened up for early access. If you think your firm could benefit from this workflow, request early access on snaptrude.com now.